And if for a couple, I recommend the first few show don't do together. When your body fat is at a very low uh, level, yeah. you, you get angry easily. So the partner have to understand. Have to understand yeah. uh, but if both partner compete together, yeah. that is disaster. Yeah. Us athletes, uh, mm. we also have body dysmorphia. Right. But your body might be someone's dream body. You feel like, oh, I... I still very fat, la. I still I still can lose some weight. Mm. This is very common, so be confident. What is the biggest obstacle you and your partner may face when they want to lose weight? Some may say during the weekend is because of their in-laws. Some may say their partner are not supportive in their weight loss journey. Today, both of my guests will share their experience and give you some tips. Before we begin, I'm in a mission to reduce 1% obesity in Malaysia. You can help with my mission by liking and sharing this video with your friends. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 32. Please welcome both of my guests, Jill and Damon. Both of them, cute couple, transform into fit couple. I understand both of you have years of experience, training and also competing. Uh, Damon competed in several shows and won several shows and Jill also just turned pro back in 2022. Yeah. Betul kan? Okay. Boleh tak share a bit with me your journey, how you actually get started into fitness? Not compete, competing though, in fitness. I go first. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, way back then, I actually <coughs> don't have a goal. Basically, I work 9 to 5 kind of work. So, I got nothing to do after work. And now I just follow him to the gym. Okay. Yeah, no goals. And then um, I started to look at them, to all those videos, fitness video. Then I think that doing pull-ups for a girl is so cool that I need to try at least once. So I start from there. Okay. When do you start? At what age? Um, I think it's about 23 or 22. Okay. 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 So before that, memang have no interest in fitness lah. Not really no interest. I was doing a lot of exercise, like mm. um, even sports as well, okay. but not like weightlifting. I see. Yeah. So he forced you or he persuaded you? No, last time, <laughs> last time what, what happened was uh, I bought a condo okay. in, uh, in Sungai Long uh, somewhere. Okay. okay. Then the condo, nobody want to rent. Okay. okay. Just, just empty like that. Right. But I'm staying somewhere else. Right. And then uh, I bring her go to the condo gym. Okay. I will start to work out right. and she did press phone. Oh, yeah. okay. 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 Two days, three days. Beside that, there is a swimming pool. Okay. And then she just enjoys swimming pool, Instagram, mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. then after that, start to do maybe one uh, tricep pull down, okay. uh, tricep push down. And then right. I, I uh, start to teach her. Uh, okay. And slowly, slowly, she sees some lines already. Yeah. Yeah. Then from there, she set a goal. Mm -hmm. Want to do one pull up. Yeah. Then That's... from there, start to go to gym. I see. Uh, what was the duration from just started and going to the gym? How long was it that you tiba tiba semangat? You know what? Let's go to the gym. I think it's a regular thing ever since you just natural. go to the gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a specific goal back then. Right, I just right, go. Right. Okay. That's one of the things that um, I don't have previously. I don't have body dysmorphia, this kind of problem. Right. So I was like, oh, okay. I still look good back right. then. I don't care. Yeah. But after three now months of happened. training, yeah. <laughs> after body three months of training uh, in the gym, and then I saw something different. But I don't really keep track. It's okay. just something looks different and I feel good about it. I see. Yeah. Okay. How about you? How do you get started? Into How do I get started? Uh, just uh, like all of us, uh, uh, we I was skinny, okay. skinny, skinny back then. Right. Then just want to get stronger. Okay, want to see apps. Mm. Then go to the gym with friends. Mm. Don't know what don't know what we were doing. Just just hunt up money. Okay. Oh, today what we do? Chess like that. Mm. Then after that, I work in offshore. Okay. Okay. Offshore, there's nothing to do. Right. Point right. guess, nothing yeah. to do. One uh. work already twelve hours. Work twelve hour rest. Right. Nothing to do. There is a gym there. Very old school gym. Mm. Iron one. All those iron already rusted. Right. 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 <laughs> then just go there and you know do something. Right. Start from there. I, I think I started from there. I, if I remember correctly. So, I, so I can conclude how you started because you got nothing to do. That's why you go to the gym. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And I want to look better. Look I just better look better. Before. Get stronger. Right. Yeah. Okay. So at least now we know how both of you get started. Yeah. Yeah, because some people say they got started because they got bullied. Some people got started because they want to prove to other people. So for you, got inspired by him, the Piggy yeah. team. Mm. For you pula, of course, want to get stronger. But at the same time, tak tahu nak buat apa. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Okay. Now we want to go into the uh, competitive side. Okay. 
during the process to be a competitive athlete, what was the biggest obstacle your experience? Ni sebelum bertanding tau, like before you hire Manong, your coach, mm-hmm. kan, that time. What was the biggest challenge? Tiba-tiba you found a goal, eh, let's try to compete. Um, I'm sure that you don't know what to do. Like that, you just look at those photos, you like it, and then you like, okay, maybe I can be them, look like them some someday. Right. But you don't know what to do. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to train. Mm. I don't know how my diet will be. Right. So it's better to look for a coach mm. that will knows better than us. At that time, what were you trying to do? I know you don't you don't know what to do again, but share a bit. What was the thing that you were doing? Were you doing a lot of cardio? Were you training every day? Yeah, I don't do cardio back. Okay. I just weight training uh, and then I don't split my workout. Okay. I basically see the weights, I just touch it. Okay, today I we train arm. Okay. Today we train chest and back, right. things like that. Yeah, it's everywhere. Right. How yeah. about you? The competitive journey. Yeah. Before you became a competitive athlete, what was the obstacle? Before a uh, competitive athlete, what was the obstacle? Yeah. If you if anyone want to be a competitive athlete, mm. the biggest obstacle I think is financial. Right, mm. I agree. You agree? Yeah. yeah, totally agree. All all the training, training, dieting. For some people, dieting maybe maybe is difficult. Right, dieting is easy for me. I think. Right. Uh, mm. save a lot of time. Right. To prep my food, I save a lot of time. Yeah. If you want to go out, makan, I don't know what to eat. Uh. Yeah. Every day, basically, and then now it happens to be makan outside, yeah. and he doesn't know what to eat, to eat anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Then spend a lot of time thinking what to eat. <laughs> yeah, faham. So that was the obstacle lah before. Okay, now being competitive. Okay, uh, you have a coach. Coach help you. So, what is the challenge being an athlete? For me, it's like what he said, financial. Because I, you know, I step in it, and then I know, wow, this costs a lot right. for girls, especially on the stage appearance wise. Right, right, right. It costs a lot. Right. So, ex- excluded all those makan diet, right. yeah, and gym fees. Okay lah, that one I can carry lah. It's uh-huh. just that. There's a bo- it cost me a bone when it comes to the appearance, um, stage appearance on your suit, mm. on your heels, on your makeup and mm. things. Yeah. Ballpark number. Huh? Uh, can you can <laughs> share a bit about uh, this one beginning? How much? Uh, aga, aga, <laughs> so at least people get a clear picture. Yeah. If if you are getting a quality one for bikini, a set is about two thousand for one set. Uh, yeah, and a heels is about four five hundred. Sometimes it can cost about thousand if you want. It's a good quality or branded kind of things. Right. Makeup is about three hundred to five hundred so have. Crazy. And the hairs, nails, all these kind of things cost total is about three three to five k in cafe. Crazy. Yeah. Not <laughs> included. Yeah. Registration fee. Yeah. yeah. Tanning fee. Betul, betul. Yeah. It's just on the appearance wise only. Yeah. To look good. So to conclude lah, for you guys, the obstacle would be the financial part lah. We need to invest a lot lah. All you right. need to know what you're spending on. Totally agree. Um, my personal experience last time as a student, I like it. I do it. Can when I was competing in Australia, registration. Uh, first have to register for the federation. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. But to register for the division, mm. put other duit masa tu. Mm. Yeah. So I clearly understand that part. Mm. Okay. In terms of training, semua okay lah. Tak ada obstacle. Tak ada rasa penat sangat. Tak ada rasa selalu nak tidur. Whatever. When it comes to peak week lah, yeah. Yeah. Shall I? The peak lah, yeah. like um, when you're cutting stage. Right. Both of us that then 2022 back then we okay. both cutting. We yeah, together. We together. Same show. Yeah. yeah. And then he was driving, he almost fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. And I, actually me too. Right. So I didn't know this was actually, yeah, yeah. It was quite dangerous. How many weeks before the show, yeah, you experienced Bendani? I think that's around three, three, four weeks out. Three, four weeks out. Right. Like that. I fell asleep, right. almost langa moto. Wow. Almost. Yeah. It's ex- extremely exhausted. And yeah, yeah very, uh, very tiring. And then there's one show, I, want, I think it's the same show also. Mm. I fell asleep on the bench. Right. I felt so on the bench. Oh, bench press. Oh, where are you? Set. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought in bench press. Bench press. No, no. no. Bench press. Bench press. Oh. Oh. I was working yeah. out. Yeah. Training right. halfway. Uh. I really fell asleep already. Well, was it in the morning or in the evening? Morning. We, was Not, it? Uh, afternoon, afternoon. Maybe. Was it a two three. session a day session? Ke? I thought. One. Only one wow. session. Yeah. Okay. Only one session. Oh, that's very extreme. Uh. It's very tiring. Yeah. And if for couple, yeah. I recommend the first few show don't do together. Right, right. Yeah. Unless you practice for certain times already mm. then might be better that way yeah. mm. okay since you competed and you're a female during your cycle 
um, menstrual cycle. It affected, right? It does affect it, especially the first show. Right. Um, it takes some time for the menstrual cycle to come back. Right. Yeah, I think it's about two, three months. But after that, um, I'm actually taking contraceptive pills now. I understand. For me, I don't feel any um, cons about it. Mm. But my menstruation cycle actually back to normal. Right, right. Even I'm on peak mm. or during competition. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I'm not sure about any scientific that whether it will really directly affect it as for female athletes. But on me, I feel okay. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. uh, reason why I ask this question because there are people out there, not competitive athletes, mm. Uh, they just want to lose weight and body fat. And once their body fat at a very, very low, yeah. for sure that will happen. Mm. Yeah. Can, at that for time, sure. they think they, they suck it. Oh, no. Uh, because it's um, hormone changes. So it's yeah. definitely will be affected. But when you get used to it already, mm. most likely you will back to a better situation for the menstruation cycle. Right. Uh, yeah. Who compete first? You compete first or she compete first? She compete first. Yeah. Okay. During her competition, how was her mood? Manageable or not manageable? Because she competed first. Everywhere. We all know lah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's why I want you to share. Because, so, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, when, when your body fat is at a very low uh, level, yeah. your mood will be, you, you get angry easily, you get frustrated easily. This is, this is very normal. Yeah. So the partner have to, you know, Understand. Have to understand. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Jaga -jaga uh. Like that, no. Mm. But if both partner compete together, yeah. that is disaster. Yeah. Uh, so what happens <laughs> if, if there's any but, argument? But, a lot of yeah, argument. But I, um, the yeah. second year I compete, which is the year I got our pro, uh. I actually try to manage it. Mm. I sleep a lot. Right. Yeah, I try not to think too much. I just mm. sleep whenever I feel tired or angry. I just right. sleep. Okay, for those young, not embark. Not muda fitness journey ya, bukan competitive ya. Eh? Um, this is the extreme part lah. Meaning, they go to an extent to lower their body fat to extreme level, number one. Number two, they want to be the best. So this will happen. They will do whatever it takes to be the best. Okay? Tapi for those of you guys yang baru nak start fitness journey, you're not going to go to the extreme. Yeah. You're not going to go to until tertidur on the bench, you know, yeah. or terlanggar orang, unless you lalai about creator, not going to happen. It's mm -hmm. not as difficult as how they describe Yeah. But why I want them to describe because this is at the extreme level which we all have to understand because they are competitive. Yeah. And the commitment they put in, they bunyi macam senang, training saja kan? But it's like 24-7. Mm. Training, tido, rest, training, tido, makan, rest, semua benda tu. Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay, my next question. What's your next goal as an athlete first, then as a coach? As an athlete, I want to at least every year improve my body. Mm. Improve my body. Next. So that's all. Okay. That's all. No, nothing much. I right. I don't. I, run. I, so did, I didn't set any goal for myself. Well, I, I want to win this show right, la, that right, show right. La. I just want to improve. Compared to last year, right. I improved already. Good. Okay. Good enough. Nice. Yeah. That much more uh, motivating <coughs> instead of you not competing around. Menang ini show. Uh, menang ini show. Compete this one. That I feel like that one very stressful. Yeah, yeah. Very stressful. I see a lot. A lot of my friends are very stressful. Agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally agree. How about you? Yeah. For me, as I already got my pro, mm. so of course I'm looking at the bigger pro. Nice. Yeah, hopefully, but not so soon by now. Mm. But yeah, like he said, la, if every year I get to improve, mm. that's good enough. Because currently yes. we are quite busy with uh, all the new gyms coming up. Right, right. Yeah, I have our own gym, things like that. Nice. So I understand that I'm not able to be my full force mm. for this year, so most likely I'll drop. Okay. But I try to maintain my body. Okay. Yeah, because it's a lot happening and mm. I don't even get to train um, according to my program. Mm. And I don't even know when I'm able to train. That's the thing. Right. So I just try to at least stay like four to five times training. Okay. Yeah. Since you bring up that, okay. Competitive, but at the same time, you are coaches and yeah. running a business. Share a bit. Okay, share a bit for maybe out there, there's a lot of coaches want to be a competitive athlete. How do you manage your time? Okay. Uh, coaching people, running a business, and also focusing on training. This year, you definitely can start with him because he's yeah. training a lot of clients right now. Yeah. So this is interesting question that I also want to know from him. Can you? Yeah. Time management, I think time management, you have, you really have to write down what today, what you will, tomorrow, not only today, right. tomorrow, you write down a few days ahead. Right. Tomorrow, what you're going to do, what time you have to train. Right. And then 
the training time, let's say it's one hour and 15 minutes. Right. Short and sweet. Takan, tada, takan phone one. Just, yeah. just train early. Right. And then the other time, this, this is your, this client, that client, this client, that client. Nice. And time management is very important. Mm. Nowadays, I, I don't have enough time to train. Cause then, so, then when do you guys pack talk? Basically, nowadays is the very less time we have to spend together. But we try to have some quality time together, like we watch Netflix together. Right. Yeah, have some conversation together. You know, okay. uh, sometimes I uh, yeah too busy already, right, right. so it tends to have some conflict also lah. Like, <laughs> work kind of things. Uh, so train together when we have time. Okay. Yeah. So at least why I ask this question is because I'm very certain there are many coaches out there. Mm. Okay. They're running their own business, but at the same time they want to compete. Mm. So they will say, "Hey, when you're a coach, you got no time to compete, you know, because you got family or mm. you got partner." Yeah. Can, but you can do it. Before this uh, previous episode, uh, there was uh, another guest. He runs a calisthenic gym. Mm. Mm. Married, got kids too, two years old. Uh, he has full time job, and he's a coach. He's full time job. Yeah. yeah. Then I asked, "How do you manage your time?" Same thing. Yeah. I manage well. I manage well. Yeah. Uh, so, why I want both of you to share? At least people know you still pakto, you still training. Yeah. You still run a business. Can okay. Time management. Bunyi senang. Bunyi senang. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. Some some uh, some of my clients will tell me, oh, I work nine to five. Uh, no time to go to gym. Yeah. I'll tell them one week three hours only. Yeah. Three hours only. Yeah. Better, better. You can go to gym. Okay, since you bring up that, yeah, how would you advise to people out there? Yeah, mm, new newlyweds lah, baru kawin lah. Okay, how would they implement uh, exercise into their daily routine? Okay, let's say I'm a I'm a new client, I baru kawin. Okay, then bro, I I want to be fit, not like you lah. I don't talk mm-hmm. like you. Mm-hmm. I just want to be fit only. Uh, but you know, planning got to have kids. Um, how to start? Uh? What would you advise to them? Okay. Um, if they, number one, if, if they really can spend three hours in a week, uh, one, one week, how many hours? 24 times right. seven, three hours a week, right. they can go to the gym. Right. If they really don't want to, oh, I, I, tako la, I, pergi gym, or, oh, I don't like sado, the gym. I, I scared. You can do like yeah. other exercise. Want to go swim, right. bike, yes. cycle. Not necessary to go. Trip. Yeah, yeah, go to hiking. Gym. Yeah, and go with your wife. Go quality time hiking yeah. also. Betul. Then go out walk. Mm. You know, uh, what else? We have pets, go out, not shopping mall. Go shopping mall. Go jalan. Also, your daily steps. That's what funny quality. about uh, nowadays. Ah, uh, they mm. can walk in the mall, but they cannot walk outdoor and enjoy the scenery. But they can walk in a mall like <laughs> five, six hours, no problem. Yeah, yeah, totally agree on that. So, orang can jawab macam ni tau. Alah, kalau pergi keluar nanti berpeluh, I don't like to berpeluh. Uh, I like to go shopping center only again. Okay, okay, okay. Good, so you walk in the mall. Betul, okay. Yeah. How would you advise to couple out there who have no experience? However, they are keen to start their fitness journey. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's say, how would you advise both of you previously? Before you all start your journey again? For the newbie lah, their couple. How would you advise to them to start their journey in fitness? It's always good to look for a coach. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Because um, I've been there mm. previously without Mano. Right. I all by myself, and then I went to hardcore gym back then. Mm. Wow. Not even commercial gym. Right. I'm a. I was a beginner. I went to hardcore gym. I don't know what to do, but <laughs> you know, a lot of abang salos. They're actually very nice. Yes. They lead us what to do. So, uh, what funny is back then my calf tear twice huh? because overdoing calf. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. And then um, you need to look for a specific person that suit yeah, you, yeah. a coach that you can communicate with, True. and then guide you through the process. Mm. If not, end up you waste some time because we have we have newbie gains. Yeah. Yeah. If not, then you waste the newbie gains kind of period. Right, right, right. And then you're doing nothing. Right. Yeah. Okay. But nothing better than uh, you're doing something, something better than better. you do nothing. Like. Yeah, I agree. How about you? If you don't have the the enough money, your financial mm. one to look for a coach, mm. really just start with doing anything that you like, the exercise mm. that you mm. like. Right. Some people True. they don't like to go to the gym, mm. but they like to cycle. Right. Mm. Uh, True. Just just cycle. Just do cycling. 
if they re- you, if you don't like to cycle, just swim. Right. Just True. start with something that you like, so yeah. you can sustain for a long yeah. time. I agree. Then later on, maybe in the future, mm. maybe you, you go into other other sport, maybe bouldering, mm. maybe go to gym to to uh, get, get fit. Yeah. Eventually, you will go to the gym. Gym is a, a place that you get stronger. Right. Then, like badminton athlete also have to go to gym. Yeah. Basketball athlete also have to go to gym. Mm. You know, to get stronger. Right. To get healthier. Actually, just get healthy. Mm. I'm gonna, say stronger. I'm gonna add a bit eh? uh, Semua benda tu betul At the same time Find the right community Yeah true, true. Meaning true. Let's say lah I do not want to become Bodybuilder or whatever But I'm inspired by both of them mm. I would say hey, uh, When you're training at the gym uh, Boleh tak ikut Even though I tak work out But at least I get the motivation By looking at other people Working out yeah, True, true. Okay, So find your community I also advise my client if you don't like to go to the gym or cycle, whatever, cari kawan yang buat macam tu. At least you got mm-hmm. the inspiration. True. Can start with that, because to really make it as a lifestyle, like you guys, you really adopt it as a lifestyle. But for someone yang tak pernah buat, they want to make it a lifestyle. It's so difficult. So they need to see something yang inspiring. Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't do it. I just dengar lah their Twitter. Oh, why you train today? Ah, chance ah, I'm okay lah. Can. Yeah, then you good lah. Yeah. Okay. Um, apart from that. Where can the listener and viewer find you if they need your help? My social media okay. mainly is Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I can look for me through Instagram. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Same Instagram. Okay. You can find my Instagram here. You put here. Can we can do that? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Bole <laughs> bole. Yeah. Okay. And also, uh, if anything, you let me know. Are you associated with Pam? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, can promote. Ah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, you can look for us in Palm as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, kepada mereka Palm, where is Palm located at? Uh, we located at Taman Shemlin Perkasa, so it's okay. ten minutes away from KLCC. Right. Yeah. Palm Cheras. Cheras kan? Cheras. Okay. Kepada mereka yang berdua di kat kawasan Cheras, looking for gym to go to, please find them there. Yeah. And uh, I do know they also conduct. Uh, MMA class. Yeah, yes, have MMA true. Class. Uh, boxing class and MMA class. So, kepada mereka yang tak suka angkat beban or gym, you want to do some MMA, go check yeah. them out. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. So, having said that, uh, I would like to thank both of you for coming by and sharing your journey with us. And hopefully in future, uh, our listener will contact you and try sure, to become sure. like you at the same time. I think I, I want to add something. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, this one I, I wrote in my note. I, I saw your this one question, then I, uh, I write there. I want to I want to add something. Sure. Body dysmorphia. Mm. Mm. Even uh, us athletes, uh, mm. we also have body dysmorphia. We look at other fitter athletes. Oh, we uh, we are not new. Yeah, we fat. <laughs> right, right. But one thing I want to tell all your listeners is, mm. your body might be someone's dream body yeah. to yeah, yeah. another guy. Betul? Right. Totally. Or another girl. Mm. Oh, I I not jadi body macam you but you feel like oh I I still very fat lah. I still I still can lose some weight lah. Mm. This is very common. So right. be confident. Right. Right. Body dysmorphia is a very big issue in the fitness industry right That's now. That's why last time I don't have this problem until I become happy. Yeah. <laughs> right. time I was like oh I look cool, right. you know, curve. Mm. And then now when I started become athletes, mm. and then yeah I have the same thing as in body dysmorphia. Uh, I would say it's good for an athlete instead of bad for general public lah. Mm. if I don't compete it would be bad lah because mm. I feel very demotivated yeah. myself. Yes. I hate myself they are yes. better than me yeah. they come from oh. and because of social media also. social media mm. can mm. Uh, as for competitive I see it as a positive thing mm. because um, yes you see other people better than you and you want to better yourself mm. uh, so tak salah lah after mm. too, kan. but again Totally agree. Thank you for pointing that out. And I hope orang kat luar sana pun jangan apa uh, lose motivation dengan diri sendiri untuk yeah. ubah because anybody can change. So again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. the best thank with you your guys. journey and hopefully to see you again in future. Sure, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.